Hi, Justin Davy here again. Um, this is the second of my three videos that I'm doing today. Um, very, very short one. Um, voluntary termination. Now, I think I briefly discussed this in my PCP Explained video, but voluntary termination is something that is part of the Consumer Credit Act and it allows you to get out of an agreement providing you've taken reasonable uh, fair wear and tear of the car um, and you've made all your payments and you haven't missed any payments um, and you've paid at least 50% of the total amount borrowed. So that's not 50% of the term because a PCP having the balloon payment at the end will greatly skew where the midway point is. So it's not 50% of the term, it's 50% of the total amount payable. Um, so I'm just going to go through an example because it's interesting, something which I only noticed very recently buying my BMW M140 is depending on how the dealer structures the initial figures, if you like, will affect where your voluntary termination point lies. The other thing to say is um, I'm not saying everybody should voluntary terminate um, at all. Voluntary termination you know, shouldn't really be abused. Voluntary termination was set up such that if you genuinely get into financial difficulties and you've paid more than 50% of the total amount payable, you can walk away. However, when cars go into a lot of negative equity, it can sometimes work in your favour to voluntary terminate rather than taking a massive hit on the amount that it's lost. Anyway, so very quick example. I've got a spreadsheet here which I've written, um, which kind of gives me various bits of information, settlement figures at every month, um, total amount of interest, total amount of interest payable, but also the voluntary termination point. And I'll explain how this is working in a second. So I'm going to use my real life example to show you. So the car that I have bought had a purchase price, so the, the price I negotiated, of £31,116. Okay, now I'm going to put in a £1,650 deposit and it has, it's got a guaranteed future value after 48 months or 47 payments of £14,118. And the APR is 39 Okay, so my monthly payment, 398.54 or thereabouts. Now look, my little bit of maths over here is telling me that my voluntary termination point is just over 39 months. Now that means that once I'd made 39 payments, I could technically voluntary terminate. So it might be at that point that the car's worth 16,000 pounds, but at month 39 lock down here, we're going to roughly owe 17,000. So let's say, let's take a really bad example. Let's say at that point it's worth 15,000 pounds, but we owe 17. There'd be an argument to say, why not walk away? The way it's working this out, by the way, very simple maths, it's taking the total amount payable, which is, now this is important, this is your deposit, this is their deposit if they put any in, this is uh, the interest and the total price. Okay, so the total price in this example, look, was 31,116 plus, remember my deposit's coming out of that, so we don't need to count that. So 31,116 plus 3,383 pounds interest, total amount payable of 34,499. So then all you do is you divide that by two, 50%, you take off any deposit you've paid, so in my case, £1,650, and then you divide that by your monthly payment, okay? And that works out at 39 months, okay? This is the interesting point. Sometimes you will get a deposit contribution rather than a discount. So in this case, let's say rather than it being 31116, let's say it was, um, in fact, I can tell you, BMW, uh, don't quote me, but I think BMW at quarter two, 2017, on this model are giving a £3,250 deposit contribution. Or it might be a £1,500 deposit contribution plus something else from the dealer. But there's a 3,250 contribution coming from somewhere. So let's say instead of me 
instead of the invoice saying the purchase price was 31116, let's say it was 31116 plus their deposit of 3250. 34366. Now watch what effect this has on the voluntary termination point. 34366. Was it 34366? I think it was. Yes, 34366. The deposit was actually my 1650. So I'm putting in exactly the same money plus their 3250. So the amount financed exactly the same. APR the same, term the same, monthly payment, no surprise there, exactly the same. Look where the voluntary termination point is. 35.1 months. Just over 35 months, four months earlier. So if we look at that, at month 35, we would have to find 18, again, these figures are approximate, but let's say we have to find £18,374 to get out that deal. Is this is a BMW M140 going to be worth 18375 at nearly three years old? I don't know. It might be, but if it's not, if it's worth 16000 you can now voluntarily terminate at 35 months, so less than three years. And that is exactly the same monthly payment, exactly the same purchase price to me, exactly the same amount of money financed. But because they have added the deposit on to begin with, because you can work the maths out, so the total amount payable is more, obviously, because the purchase price has gone up, but you then divide that by two and then take off my deposit and their deposit you're getting a voluntary termination point which is four months earlier than in the previous example. I hope that was interesting, hope it makes sense. As usual, please comment, subscribe, share this video. If you've got any questions, please comment below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for watching.